Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be doing another pick a card. Thank you everyone for being patient for my uploading. I've been going through some weird stuff. It is a weird time at the moment as you all know. So it's not unusual <laughs> that a lot of us are taking breaks at the moment. So thank you everyone for being patient. I really, really appreciate you guys for your loving words and everything like that. So let's get started with today's pick a card. So today we're gonna to be doing a pick a card all about what your angels want you to know. This is gonna be a message for you guys if you're feeling lost, if you're feeling confused, or you just wanna see what sort of message is coming in from the ethers. So we have the groups here. So please choose your group now. We have group number one, group two, group three, and group four. I haven't got any crystals on the cards deliberately. I want you to guys to use your intuition. I want you to choose which one you prefer. Sometimes it helps if you struggle to choose a card is to just take, put your hands in your heart, take a deep breath in and breathe out and then look at whatever card you're really, really drawn to. Okay, so please choose your group now. All the timestamps will be down below in, in the description box and also in the timestamps down below in the comments. So let's get started with your reading. So starting off with group number one. Hello, my lovely group number one. Let's get started with your reading. Okay, so you guys chose, we have the first Angels of Atlantis card. Okay, so we have Archangel Michael. You guys are gonna laugh at this. If you guys have been feeling very impatient recently and kind of annoyed at the universe or life, you're gonna laugh at this one. This is patience, okay? So Archangel Michael, a lot of, I know a lot of people definitely resonate with Archangel Michael. He's a very, very famous Archangel. He's one of the, the main dudes who is our messenger. He's the one that helps people transform, all that jazz. Um, obviously every archangel is for everything. It's just the ones that they're known for. They have like different elements. So this one of patience is really, really interesting because I do feel like a lot of you guys are getting a lot of downloads. We have this gorgeous pyramid and it's kind of like a streak of light. My throat is really, really hurting. I feel like a lot of you guys are gonna get a lot of messages from the ethers. You're gonna get a lot of messages from somebody quite significant. This feels like something unresolved. This feels like something that you're needing to kind of get across to somebody and you're really struggling to like, bleh, like get it out. It's, it's, it's like a struggle. It feels right in the center of my throat. It feels like, it's almost like I've like eaten something and it's gotten stuck in my throat and it's kind of like I can't get it out. Also I've got a really itchy foot. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I've got to itch my foot. I have noticed also that if you guys look at reflexology, if I remember I'll put a map here, um, it actually shows you where things are in the body. So on your feet, you have all of the points as to where each of your organs are in, on your feet. And if you see in the middle, they'll have like a certain area. So on my foot, it was itching. There was like this, a certain area, it's about in the middle of my foot. So if you look on this reflexology map, you'll see in the middle of the foot where that is. And then you'll see maybe that's related to something that you're working on right now. This feels a lot to do with your spirituality. This feels a lot to do with how you are changing your body. Sorry if you guys heard my fingers click by the way. I do feel as if it's really important for you to kind of just go with the flow as much as you can and just recognize that sometimes things don't work out in the exact same time that you want them to, but it doesn't mean they're not gonna happen. It just means that sometimes things have to interject, in interject, <laughs> oh my God. Um, and it's just, yeah, it's kind of like, I'm seeing like this sort of thing where it's kind of like something comes along, it kind of intercepts, intercepts, I think that's the right word, kind of like goes like this. And it's kind of like, it's kind of like you're driving along a road and then someone just randomly just drives straight in front of you. It doesn't hit you, but it drives straight in front of you. You're like, oh, okay. That is kind of the energy that I'm feeling. And it's like, hi, bye. Like you're not really interested. So the crystal I chose for you guys, we have Amber, which is a lovely crystal. Very, very beautiful. Very good for kind of bringing out happiness and just really light energy, making you feel much lighter. So this says where to put it, any room you want to convert into a sun room. Who needs it? Tree people, old souls, anyone gearing up for a long dark winter, which is funny because we're literally in winter right now. When to use it when you need a metaphysical hug from the universe, call on Amber's cuddly electric blanket vibes and cozy up, recharge your good vibes. Also, if you guys want to purchase a crystal and you're looking for like this certain crystal, let me know and I'll see if I can get that for you guys as well. I also do custom jewelry as well. I do bracelets and I do necklaces as well. So if you guys ever want a certain crystal that I recommend or I recommend for you in a private reading, then please let me know and I'll try and get that for you as well. And I'll put a really nice intention in it for you. 
Okay, so the next cards we have are the fish and the stingray. The main energy right now for you guys is the fish and I'm getting a really watery energy around my sacral solar. It feels more sacral and solar. This feels like confidence. This feels like having enough confidence to get to an end goal, to kind of push through something. It almost feels like birth. I mean, I have never been through birth, which you know I'm kind of thankful for at this moment. <laughs> it feels very uncomfortable. Uh, obviously, I know not every single birth is uncomfortable, but holy crap, this feels like, ugh, it feels like something needs to come out, like it needs to just burst out. And your angels are telling you to just go with the flow. This fishy guy here, he always re represents Pisces for me. He's a very gentle energy, very soothing. But this is kind of showing me that you guys are kind of going against the current. You're kind of trying to push away kind of you're, you're used to going in one direction and you're definitely stressed out about this direction that you're going in you're like okay well I don't know what this is so I'm going to go the other way I'm going to go the opposite way. I'm going to go where it feels safer which guys it's totally fine to do that if you need to do that right now 100% do that if that feels right for you go and do that but it's really hard because sometimes you just have to go with the current and you don't always know where it's going to go but if you can tune into your intuition if you can like work with your intuition and just ask it, what do I need right now? And your angels are saying you just need to connect to yourself and, and trust yourself, trust that you are making all the right decisions. And this moon here is all about your intuition, okay? So for my gorgeous water signs, my fellow water signs, I'm a Scorpio, so hi. Um, you guys, you feel a lot, okay? And if you have water in your chart, specifically like rising on moon, especially on Mars, you guys are gonna feel this a lot, okay? Um, it feels as if you're being pulled out of your comfort zone. This feels good though. This feels like a new you is being birthed, but it's scary, <laughs> okay? And it's funny because we have two beautiful water uh, water beings. If you're not a water sun, by the way, I do feel like it's still gonna resonate with you guys. The stingray is much more balanced, okay? The fish, he can kind of be a bit kind of everywhere, but the stingray I feel like are so gentle. They're so relaxed, they're so calm. This is the present energy right now and this is where you're going towards. You are aligning with all of your chakras. Right now, every chakra is being tweaked or more chakras than one is being tweaked and you're working towards getting completely balanced. And sometimes to get balanced, we have to be unbalanced because sometimes it's kind of like when you tip the scales, it's like it's got to go one way to go to the other way. And it's basically, it's playing out in their world anyway. You know, it's playing out in everyone's anger and everyone's stress and everyone's blame, guilt, you know, that is coming out within this energy, you know? And the fish and the stingray, they live in peace. You know, they're two different creatures, but they live in the sea together. You know, they don't really bother each other. Not that I'm aware of, but I feel like you guys are really connecting to stingrays at the moment. I feel like you guys really need to channel the stingray. And I feel like doing this is to just accept that every moment is is sacred. You know, you are here for a reason and there's no way of doubting that. And stingrays are never bothered by anyone. You know, they're never bothered. They just want to do their thing. They just want to chill because they know they're taken care of, okay? They know everything is taken care of. And I, I want to read you the stingray, actually. I have my book right here. And I want to read it to you. So... Because I feel like this stingray has an absolutely gorgeous energy. I love stingrays. If any of you guys have seen Moana, the stingray has a really beautiful meaning. And it just makes me so emotional. So here we go. Developing confidence, sense of self or spine. So this is where you're going towards, okay? The stingray card represents a pivotal point in personal growth. The moment has come when the stingray must decide between the old, easy, comfortable, unfamiliar, oh my God, and the new challenging, uncomfortable and unfamiliar. Pressure from family and friends makes the decision even more complicated. No matter what choice is made now, it's inevitable that this dilemma will surface again and again as the force of Dharma growing within the stingray is too strong to ignore. And then we also have when in balance, eager, wants to grow. When out of balance, blames, others, quits. To bring into balance, move through the discomfort. And then the fish is when in balance, adaptable, travels well. When out of balance, distracted, changes your mind often. To bring into balance, set a small goal and accomplish it. So right now, just take your time, do everything that you can and just take little steps. And one thing that really helped me was to um, write three things a day that you've done. And even if it's like, get out of bed, 
have a shower, make a cup of tea. This can be, for a lot of you guys who have anxiety, can be really hard to just do daily life. That will really help you, trust me. Girl, been there, been there, done that, girl, okay? We don't wanna go back there again. <laughs> All right, so let's get you a chakra. We're gonna see what chakra you guys are working on right now. And we're gonna see, oof, we've got a lot of purple going on. Let's see if those two pop out again. I'm gonna reshuffle. All right, wow, these are so, these are, these are coming out like fire bombs. Damn, girl. Okay, we have like three different chakras. The main one I'm really drawn to is the um, base chakra to do instinct. This is gonna, this is being triggered so much, especially because of the stuff that's gone on around the world. Oh my God, <laughs> instinct, survival, so much, okay? So we have the crown chakra, grace. The grace for higher power is with me and I move through life knowing this truth. I believe in a higher power and know that it is within and around me offering assistance and guidance. I surrender all my fears and burdens to a higher power. I'm open to receive grace and I trust in a higher power. I am worthy. And then we have the base chakra. I trust that my instincts are correct. I let my natural intuitive feelings guide me forwards. I will know what I need to do and how to respond with wisdom to situations that come my way. Yeah. Okay, so those are your cards. I'm gonna show you the other one too. You have abundance, which is lovely. So if any guys are drawn to write any of these down, we just wanna have a little read. These are very, very good. Okay, so the main one I want to do, I do want to look at is the base. So I have a little card here that tells you what sort of organs and things are associated with that chakra. So you have with the base, let's have a look. Near the sacral coccyx joint at the bottom of the spine, it represents physical stability, security, self-sufficiency and responsibility for yourself. It rules quite a lot of things. So it rules the hips, the teeth, nails, rectum and spine, feet, knees, adrenal glands, blood, and your lower back and your coccyx. So this could also represent your um, your sexual organs as well. So it could you could have any issues to do with your, your the below parts. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, more in the back end, more than, less than the front end, but it could be to do with like um, getting stable. You could be having back issues. Just being aware that these things might come up. Um, to do the crown chakra, you might be getting headaches things like that um, and it's to do with your brain skull and pineal gland as well so you guys are you guys are just definitely more fluid I feel like you have what's happened is I feel like you've been cracked open and then you're exposed you know when the new baby is born you've got to be really gentle with them because you can't obviously drop them <laughs> that'll be awkward <laughs> dropping them or like you know letting their head go you got to really support them that is what's going on with you guys right now you'll need extra support and sometimes that can bring up a lot of wounds a lot of anger a lot of stress Girl, it's not fun, but it, you're getting there. You are definitely getting there, okay? So let's get you a couple more cards. Let's get you a, a general kind of overview card. Whoops. Okay. Transformation. Boom. Okay. I'm just going to fan myself with her. <laughs> All right. Transformation. Things are changing at a cellular level. Deep healing. Oh, girl. This, this guy, she's, she's, she's a queen. Absolute queen. And we have Lemura, creating heaven on earth, it's happening. And that's focused or not, beautiful. I love these, so, so beautiful. I'm gonna pull you a couple of more tarot cards and see what your angels want you to know. Let's see where we're going, right. yeah, beautiful. We've got the queen of cups, lovely, really beautiful energy. You guys are such water signs. If you know, even if you're not a water sign, I just feel like you're so fluid. You're very, very intuitive, you're very sensitive. Um, you're just very gentle and you just want the best for yourself and others and you're like damn it why can't I just have this why can't I just have peace <laughs> you know and that sometimes with all this crap going on around the world girl I feel you I feel you I've got a lot of Libra in my chart so this girl likes balance okay <laughs> sometimes it's hard <laughs> but you'll get there okay we have the knight of cups six of swords strength let's get one more card mm, two more cards a lot of this is to do with um, guilt coming up. So just be aware that there may be a lot of guilt, a lot of needing to speak your truth, okay? Um, find someone you can talk to. If there is anyone, maybe talk to somebody online or a counsellor or just um, possibly write on like an Instagram account or something like that. Just share your views and know that you're not alone. Um, we also have the Knight of Cups. So I do feel like there's somebody who you're wanting to let go of as well who... Possibly isn't that good for you, but I do feel like this could be even somebody coming in that's new 
and you're going to be like oh damn like I didn't know I needed this but I needed this you know I feel like this person is actually a really nice person so if it's somebody you need to let go of it could be them but it could also be someone new coming in as well who will give you the strength that you need um that's the strength card to just assist you and help you and I just feel like it's really important for you to work on your your business on your work focusing on what you're passionate about and know that working through these emotions is going to be extremely healthy okay it's okay to cry it's okay to feel down you're allowed to feel these emotions they are normal they are natural we are human beings and we are feel we are feelers we feel everything we're very sensitive so it's really important for you to work through these emotions and it is feel like abandonment a lot of you guys possibly are leaving old jobs but you're not going to be alone you are going to be supported okay it might not be sometimes in the way you think it is but it will work out trust me i'm seeing like a clock and it's kind of like doing a 360 it's kind of like time will tell you know things will work out the way that they're meant to work out and then you have the queen of swords speaking your truth possibly doing a podcast possibly doing something where you're speaking a lot um and just allowing yourself to know that you you do have power in your words and it is important for you to speak your truth so thank you so much for watching guys i really hope you enjoyed this reading if you're ever drawn to any other piles please choose another part if you feel the need to thank you so much and also if you guys would like to subscribe if you haven't already i would really appreciate that my crystal shop is down below as well as my rates my private readings thank you so much namaste and i'll speak to you soon bye hello group number two thank you so much for being here let's get started with your reading so you guys chose this card this is zaf zafkiel ecstasy i have i don't think i've ever got this card that is so strange Wow, you guys are special. You guys are really special. So Zadkiel, I'm guessing, is that how you say it? <laughs> Zafkiel, I'm so sorry if I'm butchering this name. I'm so sorry. Basically, you guys are coming into a really strong energy, like really powerful, really, really fiery, completely different to group number one. This feels like power, full, full on sexual energy as well. Very, very sexual. You guys have four animal cards as well, damn girl. Okay, so the crystal you guys got is copper. Copper is actually such a good crystal. It's really grounding. It really helps you to get in your body. It's very like heavy. So I sell these uh, copper spheres of my shop. They are very, very heavy. They're very weighted. So I always use them to meditate with because they're really good for helping you kind of get in your body, especially if you're overthinking. So copper says anyone who needs the proverbial defibrillator paddles, which is the ones that they just go clear those things um where to put it with your epic crystal collection copper intensifies the potency of most stones clearing the channels of communication between you and your mineral friends when to use it when it's time to pack up an old idea of who you are and ship it out for good move on renewed with copper energize your whole world copper is just really good at just rejuvenating and refreshing things it gives like a really nice energy of just happiness and just feeling like you're fully clearing everything ready for this new start i feel like a new start for you guys i'm picking up on aries really strongly from this group um if you're not an aries i'm just picking up on like new start because aries is the start of the zodiac so it's like a full-on new start so the two cards that you have so this is the present and the future you have the butterfly and then you have tiger so the tiger is a really strong energy of just absolute power. He does not take no for an answer. He is extremely powerful, extremely, like not limited. I feel like the tiger is not limited at all. So what your angels want you to know is that you are going through a gigantic transformation. You're going through a gigantic energy of feeling free, feeling happy. And it may feel like you're not happy at the moment. It may feel like things just feel really topsy-turvy really confusing but it's because you are in the middle of something so you're not at the end you're not the start you're in the middle of it and that can be very very uncomfortable humans do not like change we like change but we also don't like change so the tiger is saying that you are going into a much stronger place you're going into a place where you are in your power in your power yeah in your power um and i feel like for you guys it's really important to focus on what you're good at not what you're not good at because i feel like you guys can be not martyrs but you do focus on the the hard aspects of yourself the parts of you you don't like you don't enjoy okay the tiger is also very intuitive we have this gorgeous little moon at the top of his head so i feel like this is 
allowing access to your intuition and knowing that even if you don't trust yourself right now, you will trust yourself. And something that's really good to help you is to put your hands on your heart and say, I trust myself, I trust myself, and keep repeating that over and over again. Even if you don't believe it, it will help. It will allow your subconscious to be like, oh, okay, I do trust myself, you know? And if you're going through a transition, it isn't always comfortable because you haven't found your grounded root yet. That copper will help you get grounded, okay? So we have the gazelle, we have the zebra as well. These are the two extra cards. This is kind of like the energy you're moving into. These could possibly be friends. These could possibly be two extra people that are coming into your life who are very similar. They're very gentle. I'm seeing like a very tall woman. She's very thin. That's kind of what I'm feeling for this one. And then a smaller woman. Like I'm seeing like a really tall, thin woman and like a smaller, more petite woman. It doesn't have to be women, but I'm feeling like two women specifically. So if you guys are wanting to attract some friends or you have friends who possibly look like that, then that could be your friends as well. I just see like a full on support group that you're going to. It could be like a literal support group or you're going to uh, manifest a lovely kind of um, collection of friends who just who really suit you and really vibe with your energy. This could also be spirit guides who are just really supporting you. It could be a mother and a father figure who aren't who are in spirit. Uh, could also be a mother and father who is literally a spirit guide. It could be like a male and a female or a masculine and feminine energy that is your spiritual guide, spiritual parents, basically. Because um, I feel like sometimes that happens. Sometimes I pick up on people's spirit guides and they actually have two and they're a couple. It's really cute sometimes. It's very cute. So I feel like it's something like that. I just feel like you're gonna get supported. And if you don't feel supported right now, you're going to get supported. You are gonna have people who will support you. And trust me, sometimes I don't feel like I believe that sometimes, girl, you will get it, okay? You will get it, but you have to move through this uncomfortable energy first, okay? So let's get you some guidance. Let's get you some advice on this. Okay, so. Keepers of the earth, you are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you, exactly. So this is a lot of your spirit guides are wanting to um, kind of focus in on your energy. And a lot of you guys have been feeling very upset, very stressed out, very kind of like, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing anymore, girl. So let's get you another card. I feel like you, you have a lot of beings around you and it might not feel like it, but they are telling you to get up and move, get up and move your body. You've been sitting down a lot, <laughs> okay? Especially if you work from home. Okay, we also have no, wait, postpone, pause, say no. Birthing a new age, birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. I feel like this is so accurate. The no, what's the no about? Stop doing things you don't enjoy. It's as simple as that. So they just said, stop doing things you don't enjoy. Stop being so hard on yourself. I know it's difficult, but it's, girl, you have so much power. You are doing all the right things. You don't have to constantly be doing things to have worth. You are a human being. Just being is enough, you know? And yeah, it doesn't pay the bills, but who gives a crap, <laughs> you know? At the end of the day, of course, you can pay your bills, but you've got to do stuff for yourself too. You know, we weren't born on this earth to earn money. That's not natural. What's natural is to just be ourselves. You know, this planet, we are not... We don't own this planet. We're just, we're just, we're just like moving through. You know, we're only here for what, like eighty to hundred years, girl. You know, like we are not here to compress and fix this world. We are here to be with the world and be one with the world. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I just love this world so much, man. I just love it. Um, so what this is is telling you is to focus on things that align with your energy. And if you're not sure what they are, then wait. Pause postpone say no so if you're not sure about something just wait and pause and that is okay there is so much power in pausing there is so much power in waiting you don't always have to do things especially if you're in aries that can be quite hard okay you guys are doers especially if you have mars ruling your sign that's me like a scorpio it's hard girl we always feel like we have to be practical all the time but girl like you are you are such an amazing human being and you need to recognize that and sometimes we don't recognize that all the time and that's okay. Even if, if we did, I think we'd be very egotistical. <laughs> you know, we have to be humble and that's okay. And you, ha you have the power to focus on yourself, you know? And what's really important is to recognize that everything you're doing, you're on the right path, basically. Just embodying yourself, just realizing that everything you are doing and not to doubt it because whatever you do, you'll be looked after anyway. So that's basically the advice right there. Whoops. 
these cards are like flying everywhere oops and my phone just dropped on the floor <laughs> oh my god okay right so the first card we have is the seven of wands you guys have been feeling like you are struggling you're struggling okay you've been feeling stressed out what is that song is a, a song called stressed out i really don't like this song but it's called stressed out um i'm not sure who it's by 21 pilots something like that um the seven of wands this is about you pushing and forcing and feeling like you have to go 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 this seven of wands is telling me that it may feel like a battle right now but the best thing for you to do is if something in it is forced you need to slow down and stop which i know is really annoying sometimes but that's literally what they're saying is this this little guy he's chilling he's got space from what he's what is bothering him this is the eight of cups so you're kind of, you've got, you've got space. Allow yourself to have space. Meditate, girl, meditate. I feel like your head, I'm, I'm, this is such a weird image, but I'm seeing like a head and it's almost been like popped off and like put somewhere else. It's kind of like leave your head behind in like a, in a very gentle way, almost just like don't worry about all those thoughts that are running in your mind. You know, this is an old you that's kind of running. It could also be your ego that's stopping you from feeling a certain way you are worthy okay you are worthy you are a beautiful human being and you are doing all the right things even if you're being self-destructive you know girl we have to do things to learn <laughs> okay so we also had a temperance finding balance within yourself uh drink a lot of water i feel i need to suddenly drink water so drink some water and i'm also seeing you guys i'm going to meet an aquarius is going to be very important or you you are said aquarius um, you may feel like you're kind of going backwards. Um, you're not. Just it feels as if some things need to be pulled back to be pushed forward. It's kind of like an arrow when you pull it back and it shoots. It's kind of like that. Just allowing yourself to move through these uncomfortable energies and feel them. Feel these emotions. Because when you do, you're going to feel much more content. You're going to feel much more happier. I feel like you've got to find your niche. So everyone has their niche um, in terms of what they're really interested in. What helps them to release a lot of their stress. It, I'm actually hearing the word you know <laughs> like getting your stress out by you know doing the doing the thing you know girl <laughs> like if you can do that i feel like that'd be really good for you just to get that emotional like stress kind of released um also i'm feeling like running dancing walking journaling yoga even if it's just getting out your house for 10 minutes sometimes this will really help you to just get away from your thoughts and allow your thoughts to move through and they're not stagnant especially if we're in the house a lot or you're working and you're kind of you're with a lot of people everyone's really sensitive at this time and everyone's stressed so and in different ways so what's really important is for you to have your own energy um we can be especially if you're an empath you get very affected by other people's energies so if you are somebody who's very sensitive it's really important for you to have your own energy and have your own space even if it's just being your in your bedroom in your like a little office even if it's in your garden for like 10 minutes just away from the house or away from your normal environment it will really help for you to adjust because sometimes when we sit in one place we're in a one space for quite a long time it the energy can get very stagnant and kind of hard and kind of it's almost like when you've kneaded a piece of dough for too long it gets hard and starts to kind of you know it gets a bit gross so i feel like it's moving on to a new piece of dough <laughs> so moving to a new like like moving into a new room just like literally sitting in a different room even if it's sitting in like a parent's room or another room or like a roommate's room if obviously if you're allowed to um just to get away from your own space you know um maybe if it's walking somewhere different you know just little things like that and i feel like this will come naturally it will come as you're kind of moving with your day um i also see you guys are getting a new laptop getting a new computer working on like a new office space something like that i just see like a like a, someone typing on the computer and they've got like a little laptop um so the last energy we have here is the three of wands we have the ace of wands so this is going to come this feels clearer this feels clearer right now it feels kind of heady and kind of feeling like stuck um you're going to you're going to get a lot more freedom okay and freedom i know is a very weird word right now but honestly you will you will have more freedom i think it will come out externally as well which will be very interesting i'm intrigued with that what that is anyway so that is your reading guys i really hope you enjoyed it if you'd like to check out my crystal shop we want to have a look at my private readings all my rates and everything is down below 
Thank you so much. And if you want to get any of the crystals I mentioned today in a custom piece or as a rock or a crystal or rock or anything like that, then please let me know. Just message me and I can see what I can do. I also do sell copper on my store. They're little spheres. Highly recommend them. They are one of my favorite crystals that I've got on there. Um, really good for grounding and meditating. So thank you so much, guys. I love you so much. Thank you for being here on my channel. Also subscribe if you want to. And I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello, group number three. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Let's get started with your reading. So let's see what angel you guys got from the Angels of Atlantis. Uh, card deck cleansing, Raphael. Okay, I'm laughing because everyone's going through this type of energy right now. So this cleansing energy, because we have the droplet of water, this feels like sometimes you're gonna feel like you're drowning. Sometimes you're gonna feel like you're on the surface. Sometimes it's gonna feel really lovely and it's gonna feel like a shower. It's kind of like in moderation. We don't live on the water. So if we're underwater, we can only be under there for a certain amount of time and then we start to panic. I feel like for you guys, there has been a certain element of panicking the last few months or at least probably the last few days of watching this reading. There's been like a certain element of panic and confusion. And this is going on around the world. It's going on externally. So if you're very sensitive and you're an empath, just be aware of your energy, guys, because you're probably picking up on things around the world too. And this doesn't even have to be like physically. This can be like a collective energy. So it's really important for you to cleanse yourself as much as possible. Um, sage, incense, um, lighting a candle, doing some omming or some drumming or some singing, you know, just clearing your energy because if you have picked up energy from somebody else or just even from the collective, it's really important for you to shield yourself, okay? This is very, very, very positive. Cleansing doesn't always feel positive sometimes because when you're releasing something, it can be really uncomfortable. But when you do, it feels fucking amazing, okay? So what I feel like for you guys, it's really, really important for you to love yourself as much as possible. I'm getting really drawn to pink opal for you guys. I actually did choose a crystal card, but I'm just really picking up on pink opal. I do sell pink opal towels on my shop. I'm just looking at one right now and I'm really drawn to it. Um, the color pink is all about self-love, unconditional love, you know, very similar to rose quartz. Pink opal is so beautiful. It's very, very powerful. It's got really strong energy. Um, it's kind of, I feel like it's a bit more potent than rose quartz. It's got a different type of vibra vibration. It kind of feels a bit more, um, more on like a higher vibration. I feel like rose quartz is more earthy. Pink opal is more um, of a spiritual crown chakra energy. This feels like you're having an emotional, spiritual clearing. And the cleansing energy is all about you releasing every, anything that no longer serves you. So this can be people, this can be places, this can be, I'm hearing separation anxiety. So a lot of you guys could be going through that. This could even be from childhood. So to do this, it could be you need to do some shadow work. It could be you just need to talk to somebody, a counsellor, a friend, someone who just, you know, is going to support you. I feel like some of you guys are born in autumn. These kind of remind me of trees. This actually is fire. It's actually fire on the water. Um, I'm actually hearing smoke on the water, the song. Smoke on the water. <laughs> okay. Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> right, anyway. Anyways, right, we have Lapis Lazuli. So this is a beautiful crystal for the throat chakra. I have an itchy belly. Uh, <laughs> this is a crystal for the throat chakra. This crystal is so powerful. For those of you who are very sensitive right now, I would not actually recommend Lapis Azuli. If you guys are needing to bring out emotions, yes, Lapis Azuli is the one girl. If you are more in the sensitive energy, you're kind of like, well, I'm not too sure. Pink Opal would be better, I feel. Pink Opal would be more grounding. Um, Lapis Azuli, because it's very intense, especially if you're a water sign and you're very fluctuating a lot, um, or a water sign, moon or rising, or even Mars maybe, it can be really hard to kind of ground yourself. So Lapis Azuli, I wouldn't say is the most grounding crystal, but it's perfect for your throat chakra. It's absolutely perfect for your throat chakra. So we have, who needs it? Cat people, Leos, anyone who uses the phrase, in a past life, I'm totally convinced I was a... Where to put it, as a spiritual armour that lets the world know when I walk into a room, it's customary for y'all to bend the knee. <laughs> when to use it when your thoughts are not your friends. Call on Lapis Azuli to help you get out of whatever your mind has gotten you into. Ascend your rightful throne. This is about you embracing all the parts of you. And I know it can be really hard sometimes, but it's allowing yourself to just express and embrace and just 
let go basically just allow yourself to let go sit comfortably chill relax if you're sitting kind of right now if you're sitting watching this and your shoulders are hunched just be very aware relax your shoulders relax your chest i mean i can't do that right now because <laughs> i'm sitting upright but relax your shoulders relax your chest and just expand like expand your chest a bit as well i feel like there's a lot of energy around your heart that just really needs to be uh, acknowledged so if you're feeling stressed you're feeling anxious just put your hands in your heart and say it's okay i've got this i've got this i've got this handled i'm okay and i'm gonna be okay and everything is gonna work out okay so those are sort of things that are really good to help you calm yourself even if and you may not be feeling this right now you may be thinking this isn't resonating with you but this is really good for just kind of in your back pocket if you need it sometimes, if you just feel a little bit anxious. And this can come up like that. Lapis Azuli is very like, woo, she's up and down. She's a bit like Cancerian energy where it kind of like hits you. Um, I have Cancer very strongly in my chart, so I know it could be hard. <laughs> um, but Cancerians, they can be very up and down sometimes. They can really, um, they can't really trust themselves a lot. So Lapis Azuli helps you kind of trust those emotions and trust that everything's gonna work out. So the first card we have, oh, so cute. We have the little lamb. Oh, I love him. So cute. I'm actually seeing this as a very, very feminine energy. So I would probably say this is a female energy. So this is the energy you're working on right now. I love this. As you can see, the lamb has a massive rainbow around it. Oh, this is some intense energy, guys. Holy crap. Okay. Cancerian energy, full on. If you're not Cancerian, that is totally fine. This is just the energy that, that I'm feeling. It feels very much like mothering, very childlike, very, um, I need help. That's what I'm here. I need help. I need, I need security. I need to feel like everything's going to work out. This is beautiful. There is, I'm going to cry. <laughs> there is so much power in this lamb card. Okay. There is so much power in your gentleness. Don't let anyone tell you that you being sensitive, you being emotional, you being a gentle human being is wrong. This is where you are powerful because a lot of people push down, they shove down and they push away or they want to get away from their emotions. You embrace them, you hold them and you use them and that is so damn powerful, okay? And there's all types of layers that you have, okay? And every day you're going to feel a little bit different, especially right now. The energies are so freaking fluctuated. Um, but right now you are working on and kind of figuring out how to use these emotions. It feels like a newborn lamb, like trying to walk, a bit like Bambi. <laughs> so the next card you're working on, where you're going to... Oh my God, you guys have got such cute animals. You've got the mouse. She's in the reverse. You are going to be this gorgeous energy where you can feel strong in your intuition, where you can feel strong in your lightness. Feminine energy is so damn powerful. And I think a lot of us feminines, or those of you who have, I mean, we all have feminine masculine energy, but especially those of you who resonate as a feminine, holy crap, are we going through a lot of stuff. I feel like because of the Capricorn age going into the Aquarius, um, there's been a lot of oppression on the feminine age, feminine energy. Because of us, if you are a feminine or you are working on your feminine energy right now, there's going to be a lot of like anxiety, a lot of like kind of teary energy kind of coming up. This is normal. And you might not be able to, to tr attribute tribute it to something. You might not be able to like pinpoint what it is. It could just be something that needs to come up, you know, and that's okay. I'm hearing like hormones and periods and things like that. So it feels as if you have been pushed down a lot in your life. You've been kind of told that you're not good enough. You told, you've been told that like, why should I even, you, you've even told yourself possibly, why, why should I even bother? Um, I feel like for you guys, there's so much power in being a gorgeous light energy because the negative energy can normally be the one that people will may pay the most attention to because it's, it can be the strongest, you know? But actually, positive energy is so much more powerful okay so you have the lamb you have the mouse and you have the bee the reason why this mouse is in the reverse is because he is not you're not fully here yet so this will be in the reverse when you get here right now you're learning to embrace this gorgeous light side of you okay and then we have the bee so don't push yourself don't struggle don't force yourself into a corner stop telling yourself you're not good enough <laughs> So telling yourself that all these things, you're not going to get anywhere. Just because it hasn't happened yet doesn't mean it's not going to happen, okay? 
it's very confusing because timelines are so fluctuated right now, especially going into the Aquarian age. We're like, time, what is time anymore? So I feel like for you guys, what's really important is to ground yourself, okay? Get away from people who are negative. Get away from people who are stressful. Get away from energies that are stressful as much as you can, even if it just takes just going outside for a little bit, okay? Um, and the B is always reminded me of a Virgo energy. So this is the energy that's just overall. The B energy is darting about, but sometimes it needs to take a break, okay? Um, sometimes it needs to have some sweetness because um, bees can get really, really tired. That's why sometimes you see like a, a bee on the floor that's kind of like going through it because they basically just worn themselves out. So it's really important for you to look after yourself and not burn yourself out because you have such a strong mind. You need to work on focusing on something so you're not burning yourself out. And also maybe try something new. It might be quite maybe it's a small thing maybe it's a big thing but try something new i feel like ask the universe what can i do to be brought into something new okay and i feel like i want to ask oh, i want to ask the angels that today as well i want to see what what's kind of going on there so we're gonna have a look at the lamb with the spirit guide um book and we're gonna see what gorgeous energy this is so the lamb peaceful prophetic patient the lamb is the bearer of an important message. Its contents can only be heard when a deep level of quiet can be established. Lamb energy is the honest guidance you hear from an old friend, a young child, or sometimes a surprising stranger. Through the lamb's message may channel through another person. The wisdom resonates with, within you. It will repeat and reverberate until you listen. Approach this gentle creature with utmost patience and rever reverberance. Truth is a gift sit still, listen, receive. It's kind of like you wouldn't get angry at a lamb because they're so freaking cute. So it's kind of like allowing yourself not to be angry at yourself. And then we have, when in balance, knowingness, inner peace. When out of balance, quiet, timid, and concerned. To bring into balance, meditation and listening. So I wanna have a look at the mouse as well because I feel like that one's quite important. So, when in balance, organized, resourceful, and prepared. When out of balance, busy with no purpose to bring into balance a meaningful project. So that will probably help you guys feel really, really um, content. And I feel like, I definitely feel like a purpose will really, really help you in some way. And this doesn't have to be, you know, a lot. It could even be like a daily routine that you do. It says, unfortunately, a mouse personality doesn't notice when they've gone too far. Soon they begin to have a limited and fearful vision of life and try to control every detail. This can be quite a painful experience for both the mouse and those around them. When mouse energy is at play, step back for a moment. It may be time to find a more purposeful project to delve into, one that's worthy of your exacting eye. You guys are very specific. You guys could have Virgo in your chart really strongly as well. You could be quite particular and use that for, to your benefit. You know, that isn't always a bad thing, okay? So to bring into balance meditation and listening, that's what I feel like is really important. Music is gonna be very, very healing for you. So I do want to pull a couple more cards and then we're going to see where you want to put your energy. I want to see what, where you want to put your energy because I feel like that's what you guys are struggling with at the moment. Where you want to put your energy. Don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? Break the chain. Ancestral patterns healing rewrite in the future. Yes. <laughs> There's a lot of energy of um, bringing up old stuff so it can clear. Okay. And this will take time. You know, it doesn't always happen overnight. Maybe it will. You never know. <laughs> Maybe you'll wake up and be like, I feel good. <laughs> I feel better. Thanks. <laughs> All right. So let's get you some tarot cards. Let's see where you're going. And then I want to pull you. You're going to be the only group that's had this card. I'm going to pull you an astrology card um, just to see what's kind of coming towards you. And then I'm going to pull you a chakra card. Let's get you some tarot. Let's see what's happening for you guys. Page of Cups, lovely energy, beautiful. I think you underestimate yourself as well. You underestimate your power. It's kind of like, you're like, oh no, I'm not good enough. It's just like, you are, you are good enough. You don't have to wait for someone to tell you that you're good enough to be good enough, okay? Whoops, okay. Ooh, Knight of Pentacles. You may have somebody coming in around work um, who will assist you. Or it could be somebody who, I'm hearing who you have to pay <laughs> to get the advice. So it might be business, it might be um, an accountant, it might be like a counsellor or something. I feel like you guys are going to get really good in your business. Like you're going to get really wealthy. Oops. And when I say business, I don't mean just like for yourself. It could be working for somebody else. You could get a raise or something. 
but it feels like you you have a very exact you have very exact eye so you are most likely hired a lot of the time because you're very specific and it's because you see the details and you're very artistic use your artistic vision sometimes we forget that we're artistic beings you know we have all these different creative abilities that sometimes we don't realize we have so sometimes just try something new if someone suggests something try it even if it's something you don't really want to do you're like eh, i'm not too sure just try it give it a go what's the worst thing that could happen so i do feel like there's a lot of shadow energy but i feel like you're really working with it i feel like you're really dealing with it and you're really kind of um figuring out how to work through it Okay, I feel like you are doing the damn thing, girl. You're doing amazing. You should give yourself a pat on the back. Give yourself a pat on the back right now. Or give yourself a hug. <laughs> I feel like you guys need to allow yourself to know that you are doing all the right things. You are doing amazing, girl. I'm seeing a donut. Have you guys been eating donuts? Picking up on that too. You guys have climbed a very high mountain recently. And to put it onto like an image, I feel like you guys are about nearly at the top. Okay, that's kind of what I'm seeing. It's kind of like when you get to the top, you'll start to see things more clearer. So right now it feels very misty, it feels very uncomfortable, kind of like your breathing might be a bit difficult. And then when you get to the top, you're like, oh, thank God. And then you can start to go down the mountain and start a new journey. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing about three months time, things are gonna be very different, okay? I'm seeing a lot of throat chakra energy as well. Okay, so the Ace of Pentacles, a lot of money, a lot of money coming in. There could be somebody who's gonna really help you. It could be an earth sign. This person feels sexy very nice even if it's not a romantic person sexy like they have really lovely energy um it just feels like somebody who can communicate very clearly someone who can speak their truth and they're also allowing love to come in as well so if you find your passion or you find what you're passionate about even if it's just something small um i feel like it can really help this to energy to move through because you need a focus you need some sort of focus to help you clear this energy Let's get you a chakra card. I wouldn't be surprised with the throat chakra. I would not be surprised. Oh, the heart. I would not be surprised. Oh, the crown. I was not expecting that. Okay. <laughs> there we go. I want to pick. Do I want this one? Yeah. Let's go with this one. Okay. So you guys got three cards. The crown chakra is the main one. So the crown chakra rules the top of the head. It's the pineal gland, the skull, and the brain. So a lot of stuff is going on in your head right now. I honour a higher power and know that anything is possible. I let a higher power have a more active presence in my life and I know that my life is divinely guided. I surrender to this truth. Okay, I'll show you that in just a second. Truthfulness, throat chakra. I am truthful and honest with myself. I aim to overcome any fears about speaking my truth and I speak in a loving, considerate way. My personal empowerment comes from telling the truth and letting others know who I am. Others will be positively uplifted when they hear my truth. And I take care not to exaggerate in order to impress them. I am careful not to let my mind mislead me and in turn others. I avoid gossiping or speaking negatively of others. Last card, sensuality. Love it. I encourage myself to express my sexuality. I meant to say sensuality, but it came out sexuality. Love that and emotions creatively using all of my faculties, including touch, voice and actions, creative abilities such as art, craft, music, acting, cooking, gardening and writing. I practice being aware of and enjoy my senses being nourished and stimulated by the natural world, such as by landscapes, people, weather, animals, aromas and sounds. Beautiful, gorgeous. Look at these, absolutely stunning. So if you guys wanna have a look at any of those, um, affirmations if you want to check them out then uh, please feel free to do so the throat chakra also um, rules the thyroid throat mouth teeth jaw basically anything around this area also rules the upper lungs shoulders and tongue so you guys could be getting a little bit of stress in here take your time just don't stress yourself out girl okay <laughs> do your best to work on that energy and if, it, if you get a little bit of shoulder pain it could just be an uh, energetic download okay it could just be something from the collective so last card we're going to do what's coming towards you what are you working on okay um let's see what you got to look forward to because i feel like oops i feel like you guys need a bit of a boost you're the only group who's going to have this card i think oh okay that came through really strongly communicating that one popped out okay truth there's a lot of stuff to do with your throat chakra 
Okay, you guys are going through a really uncomfortable phase, okay? Just to be honest, that's what, that's what you're going through. Saturn isn't my friend. I'm not a fan of Saturn. <laughs> He's the old man of the planets who basically tells you you have to go through this to learn something. There is a lot of truth that's happening around the world and in your energy, and I feel like it's all to do with your personality and how you interact with things. When this shifts, it's gonna be so much easier for you, okay? You have to go through this though to get to the other side, okay? And you basically are gonna go through a lot of change and your love life is gonna really pick up, okay? Your energy is really gonna really pick up. Um, it, it has to go through this phase though, it has to go through. It's kind of like when, you get, when you're driving and you get to a road with speed bumps and sometimes you're like, ugh, because <laughs> you're like, ugh, I have to drive slow now, you know? But sometimes you have to do that to, you know, figure out where you're going or to just acknowledge that those are there and just acknowledge that those speed bumps are there, but it doesn't mean you're not gonna get through them. It just might take a little bit longer. So thank you so much for watching guys. If you'd like a private reading with me or you want a have a look at my crystal store, please do. I have a new line of jewelry coming out, exciting. So thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you have a lovely day. And if you want any of these crystals in a custom piece or you want, a, uh, you want any of these crystals, uh, let me know, message me on Instagram or email me if you wanna have a, if you wanna purchase anything that I've mentioned. Thank you so much for watching this uh, video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe down below if you would like to. Hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Namaste. Bye. Hello, group number four. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So let's go. So for group number four, you guys chose Raziel Intuition. Love. So this is really beautiful. This energy it's all about you guys focusing on your chakras. It's about you getting grounded, which is funny because it's about intuition. But the more grounded you are, the more your messages are gonna come through. So the message, message from your angels right now is focused on Raziel. So maybe possibly have a look at Raziel and what he represents as well. This is very much to do with um, kind of opening yourself up to new visions, to something new. And sometimes with newness, it can be very, very uncomfortable because we're not used to it. So I feel like for you guys, this is a really big transformation you're going through. I feel like you guys are quite settled in yourself, but you also, you want something new. You want something new to look forward to, to chase, to, to be excited about. So the crystal you guys have for this group is Magnesite. Who needs it? Intellectuals, Aquarians. Wherever you go to quiet the mind or wake it the F up. When to use it? When you're just too smart for your own good, when you're completely lost in your thoughts or they're running wild, dragging you behind them. Remember, the mind is a powerful thing. You rule it or it rules you. Meditate every day and show it who's boss with magnesite. So magnesite is a very interesting crystal. It's kind of, I find it a bit confusing. I find it a little bit like, it's very powerful, but it's directional. It's kind of like this. It's, it's kind of like in different directions. So I feel like for you guys, it's gonna help you to actually stay centered. So if your mind is doing this, it might, it will most likely help ground you. I feel like for you guys, you need a black crystal as well, something like black tourmaline, black onyx, something like that, I feel like will help you to protect your energy and to help you stay much more grounded, okay? So the animal that you're working on right now is the phoenix. <laughs> yes, so this is all about transformation. This is about you working on a higher power, working on your higher energy. So if you guys have felt like nothing is happening, it's because everything's going on up here, which is really annoying sometimes being a human being in a physical 3D world, girl, but it doesn't mean it's not coming. It's kind of like when you pre-order something and you're waiting for it, but you know it's coming, it's just like, it's just not here yet. It's kind of like you've ordered it from the universe, you're like, mm, universe, I want that coat. <laughs> you know, that sort of thing. So I feel like that's kind of what's happening. It's kind of like the universe knows you've pre-ordered your, like, your next step, it's just, it's waiting to come. It's pre-ordered. It's not ordered, it's pre-ordered, okay? You gotta wait a little bit longer. So the timing is kind of, I'm hearing er erupt, is it kind of, it's gonna be sudden, it's gonna be a sudden shift, a sudden change. And that's all the Phoenix is, is transformation. And it's about you rising up from something that no longer serves you, okay? We also have the octopus. The octopus is very interesting. This is about where your brain is kind of like overactive. And you need to kind of do lots of things to make yourself feel like you're doing something. Basically, is not to, I'm already itchy head now, <laughs> is to basically work on your mind, okay? Um, allow it to just express itself. If you need to talk about something, and possibly if you have no one to talk to, 
talk to yourself, you know. Um, it could also be to just listen to some music, distract yourself, something like that. I just feel like you guys are needing to organise and get things straight within your home or within your environment. Um, this could be with people, this could be like speaking your truth, but I feel like it's also just organising things and making sure everything's kind of sorted. So if anything needs to be worked on, possibly like you need to paint the walls or you need to do some construction work or something like that, getting things in order, ready for the next step will be very, very helpful for you. Um, so the overall energy is the elephant, quite slow, but stubborn, <laughs> but also um, removing roadblocks. So the elephant, it says in this card about the trunk and it moving, I, I always see the trunk moving things out the way. So elephants have their trunk because they move things out the way, then that's what they need to move things out the way. The trunk, I don't know if the trunk is called a trunk because they move tree trunks, but with their, with their trunk, they're strong enough to move tree trunks. So what it's showing me is that you guys are slowly getting to a place where you've had to move a lot of things out the way to get to where you want to go. And I do feel a lot of you guys are actually changing up your spiritual energy. It's kind of like I'm hearing I believe in something else and it might even be you go more towards the religious side or you flip towards spirituality. It feels like you're realizing something about yourself and it could be you're going for a Saturn return as well where you are just changing yourself very frequently. The flame with the elephant is trying to f is finding your purpose, but I'm, I keep hearing the flame keeps dying out and I keep I keep getting scared and confused. The way about this is to light it yourself. So not uh, not waiting for spirit to kind of uh, guide you and help help you. Asking the spirit to help you, like asking what do I need to do right now? Because I feel like your guides are telling you that you've got everything sorted. It just takes a little bit longer, okay? Because you are literally. You're literally coming out of ashes and that's a lot, you know, that doesn't, that's not like an overnight thing. But I do feel like you're going to find a new hobby or a new thing that you're going to be attracted to. And I do see a lot of you guys might be seeing movement in the corner of your eye. It could be spirits or something. Also, if you're not, if you're not a fan of that, just say, nope, no, thank you. Because you can be assertive and say like, no, because uh, you're spirit guides. So they're there to protect you. They're not there to like freak you out, you know. So I do feel as if you are going up a level but this level is like the hardest one. I feel like this is the last level until you get to the next stage. And your spirit guides are saying, girl, you're doing enough. Okay, you don't have to stress yourself out. Don't put pressure on yourself. Um, but also, if you want to if you want to be more practical, do do things that where you can get your hands dirty, where you can really get into something. It depends on how you work. If you're more of like a visual learner, um, do something visual. If you're more of like an um, like words and numbers, do something that includes that. It's just allowing yourself to work on um, just something that you specifically suits you because it's not going to suit everybody. Okay, there is something that wants to come through. Let me just see what this is. I'm seeing you guys like going for a walk and you're discovering something about yourself, about your environment. Could even be meeting with somebody. It feels like, yeah. I've, I've done it. You know, I think one day when I wake up and you're like, something's changed. Especially those of you who are very intuitive. You're really going to pick up on this change that's happening in the world. Some of you guys are Sagittarians or Aries. A lot of fire signs in this group. Or a Taurus. Okay. Keepers of the earth, you are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. I love this. So you're fully supported. Okay. Um, allow angels and allow uh, animals to kind of give you messages there might be a specific animal you've been redrawn really to recently council of light divine orchestration help us in the subtle realms you guys are really connected to your angels you've got so many angels you've got keepers of the earth and council of light it reminds me of um that scene in harry potter i can't remember which one it is but it's when all of like um his the people that he knows is supporting him when he's trying to defeat Voldemort. I'm pretty sure this is a scene from Harry Potter. And then his mum and dad are like supporting him and, and and helping him through this process. And he's it's helping him defeat Voldemort. And it's kind of like you defeating, working through all of your shadows. I feel like you are getting there. You are really are getting there. And you're going to get to um, where you where you need to go. And the more comfortable you're going to be in a more comfortable space. And also just allow yourself to breathe. I feel like some of you guys just go, go, go and you burn yourself out sometimes and you quite easily burn yourself out. So I feel like once you work through these emotions, it's going to feel a lot more easier. Okay. And you're going to be able to do a lot more things without possibly crying or randomly, <laughs> randomly crying or randomly just feeling anxious. And that's okay to feel like that. That's completely normal. So 
another thing that you're working on right now we have this it's kind of like a solar plexus energy trust the niggle what is the niggling feeling trying to tell you there's something that is trying to tell you something your your solar plexus is saying look girl there's something that needs to shift okay you may already know what this is you may not we're gonna see what sort of chakra you're working on see what what's kind of going on with you guys I'm gonna pull you some tarot as well hmm sacral and then we have the solar plexus setting boundaries which is lovely i really like the top one it says i teach others how to love and respect me by how i love and respect myself my integrity is supported when i express my thoughts and feelings okay beautiful energy and then we have oops it's not focusing um and then we have sacral chakra reward myself i know that i'm truly worthy and deserve to receive the good things in life I give myself permission to have them. It is time to enjoy the fruits of my labours. Exactly. Let's see if I can just see that. Okay. So if you want to repeat any of the affirmations to yourself, they might be really helpful for you. Um, the second chakra represents all of your energies around your the bottom half of your body. So if your ovaries te or testes, kidneys, bladder, prostate, pelvis, pelvis, body fluids, adrenal glands, large intestines and lower back and sacrum so because this is um one of the things it represents is your adrenal glands you might be very fl fight or flight at the moment so it's really important for you to ground yourself and know that everything is taken care of even though it doesn't feel like it it really is and don't trust what you hear okay don't trust what you hear on the news let's just say that if you're putting a lot of emphasis on the outside world in terms of the news anything large media wise girl you're not going to get any happiness there unless it's happy news girl everything is very messed up right now and it has been for a very long time it's just starting to come to the surface so don't trust anything you hear girl if it's things like that don't try not to focus on it try not to put your um put your energy there because you are so much more than that okay but obviously if you want to watch the news girl do that <laughs> okay do whatever you feel you need to do so the astrology cards we have for you is Neptune Sacrifice, so a lot of emotional energy is working, working on, endings and beginnings, and Capricorn. You're coming into a new stage of your work life, okay? Um, you'll need to clear a lot of this energy around um, worthiness to get to your work life, okay? So you're coming into a new work stage. So basically the Capricorn I see is like a working energy. It's very, it's very, I'm hearing standards, it's very standard, it's very... Um, they can they can withstand a lot of energy a lot of different things so for you guys i feel like you are finding a new purpose you're finding a new a new sense of self okay we have four of cups it's about waiting for this new start to come and it is coming okay it's going to be delivered to you ace of pentacles beautiful new start in work definitely work definitely you guys are gonna be really happy about this i feel it just feels like a new purpose as well. It feels more physical. It feels like physical attain things you're physically attaining. We've got the magician. We also have the three of pentacles and the strength card. So the magician, the magician is all about this new energy of sparking interest, something new, and also the seven of pentacles. You guys have worked so freaking hard on your work life, and you're now ready for something new. We have the ace of cups. So it's going to be something you're going to really enjoy. You're going to be around people who support you. It could be a Leo as well. We had three of pentacles with a strength. It just feels like you're fully supported. And I do feel you you do have a council of light around you. Just really working on um, bringing that energy down. And know you're not alone. And know that things do feel uncomfortable sometimes. But we have to get through those to get to the good stuff, you know. <laughs> but you are getting the good physical things coming in. It just may take a little bit longer. But it is coming. And you might get an invitation from a friend for something, like a new work prospect or something. I'm seeing some of you guys, you might have a beard and I keep scratching. I feel like it should be a beard there or something. Some of you guys might, uh, for those of you who do have facial hair, you've got like stubble and I feel like it might be irritating you for some reason. That's kind of what I just got. So thank you so much for watching guys. I'm also seeing you guys wearing bowler hats. It's very random. I'm seeing like a lot of gentleman energy. It's very Capricorn. <laughs> um, so thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, I'm hearing stay humble, stay stable, and meditate, <laughs> okay? And just know that you are protected, you are supported, and don't put your emphasis on something outside of you as much as you can, you know? Um, eat some good food, 
go watch something nice <laughs> um and yeah just support yourself so thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you guys getting a puppy if some of you guys want an animal you're gonna get a puppy very soon i'm seeing like a little cockapoo or a little poodle or something a fish <laughs> something like that a fish or a dog pretty different but <laughs> i do see you guys getting um a dog of some sort and also painting your nails as well so thank you so much for watching guys if you would like to get a private reading with me or you want to have a look at my crystal store all the information is down below thank you so much for being here i really appreciate you guys um thank you for being patient with me of uploading and i hope you have a lovely day wherever you are namaste and i'll speak to you very soon bye